Good morning, uh, just here with a quick update on this weekend's runners. Uh, we had a busy week last week, well, in the start of this week at Caraca. You've been on holidays, Charlie, too. I have, too. Mm. Yeah, I snuck that in the middle and uh, had a rip roaring time. Where'd you go? I went to Niseko. Mm. Japan was looked after incredibly well by Richard Friedman. Mm. He won his first Magic Millions race whilst we were in the pub in Niseko. <laughs> and you won one, too. Yeah, you we did. Won. We did. Quinellard. Quinellard. We, had to, we had to outdo Rich. So Quinellard won, which is great. Kiku and Brooks Bar. Is he any good at skiing? I'll tell you what. You would th put it this way. He's like a cat in silk slippers <laughs> in comparison to what you'd think he'd be. He's an exceptional skier. Incredibly agile. And, well, he got away from Cathy and I on numerous occasions. And his wife, Sally, is just an absolute well ripper. Well Rich. Well done. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Anyway, we'll rip into this weekend's runners. We've got a, only a small team, but a good team. A power-packed team. Race five. Pretty wild. Uh, Christopher, you're alarmed. Oh, that's a bit Got him. Got him. Pretty wild, barrier seven? Uh, yes, 1300 is a little concerned, but and if she was disappointing last start, she needs to get cover. If she gets cover, she'll run well. Fear not? Fear not, I reckon, will improve. Uh, third up. Distance, third up. Yeah, she's the big improver. Okay, then into the Drink Wise Mile, hmm. named after you. Number one, Certainly not no compromise. <laughs> No compromise. Um, he's resuming, not quite as sharp as he was in previous preps, but that's why we've gone to the mile first up. Um, won a group one race last prep. Not many horses can say they did that. He can. No. And uh, he's come back well, sort of aimed towards a chairman's type race with him in the autumn. And another last start group winner, Sulcum. Mm, very decent horse, this boy. Um, we'll give him a pretty light autumn. Probably three runs. Saturday will be the first. Um, this would be the shortest he's ever raced over, mm. I'd imagine. Um, he's come back well. His he'll manners be, have improved. He'll be charging at them late. Charging at them. Mm. Mm. Barrier two, two. Two, two. Mm. 22. No, just two. two. Just one, two. That's good. He misses a start anyway. I'd like to see him jump a bit better. He's been break. jumping better in his trials. He? He'll good. be right. Mm. J Mac on, he's not the best barrier jockey there. Best jockey, but Can't not the best barrier jockey. That. James, I love you. James, I know you watch it. James, I love you. Don't worry about what he says. But why would you wind him up? I'm not. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He's an outstanding jockey. No, I said he's the Jump best jockey. Jockeys. He's just not the best barrier jockey. You can't say that to jockeys. Why not? Oh. They've all got their attributes, just like yeah, you and I. He's going to be sitting there like this, waiting for the button to go. And... Yeah, good. It means he'll be first out Saturday. <laughs> Anyway, race eight, the Eskimo Prince. Now, haven't you got a cracking colt here? We have. We Aussie have. Panko. Yeah, lovely colt. Very, very good run on the Caulfield Guineas. Pride of spelling. 1,200 is too short, but I um, just love to see him just charging at the line and 1,400 second up, and then the Guineas third up. And Nash will suit him, won't he? Oh, He'll get him organised. Nash is one of the best. One of the best, for sure. Now, one glass bay. Yeah, back up 1,800 metres. Um, after running well last week, he needs the extra distance. James McDonald got off him and said, go straight to 1,800 and you'll win. Rung up Wednesday, blew up because he wasn't on him. I said, well, he wasn't injured for the race when you already took another ride, so that's why James is not on it. Sorry, James. He can't roll 54 anyway. No, I told him that, but he didn't, wasn't worried about that. He wasn't worried, no. no. Loves winners, say hey? He does. Hey, I reckon he's the only person who loves winners more than me. He's right up there. <laughs> he's right up there. Hey, I love winners. He's going well anyway. No, he's flying. Uh, Sacrimony, barrier six. Um, trying him over 1,200 now. His first runs, I think, have been over a touch shorter. Um, he's going great. Just needs things to fall his way, like most horses. He's been a model of consistency and deserves a winner. And Linderman and Nash, barrier three. Lovely horse. Great race um, in the 1800 metre race at Flemington during Carnival Cup week. 
he got posted deep that day, but he showed that he's got that X factor. So he'll be featuring in some big races. 1200 is a bit short, but you like him? Yeah, I do. I do. I think he's a nice horse. He obviously broke his maiden over this trip. I know that's a maiden on a Friday night, I think it was, or a Thursday night. Um, and Saturday is slightly different, but anyway, he's uh, he's matured well and he's a quality animal. Natural will arise. Yeah, he sure does.